Now, your local weather authority forecast. Beautiful conditions to start off on your Tuesday morning. This is a live look at Odessa. Look at the sea lights contrasting with a purplish, pinkish, fiery haze along the soon to be sun that will rise above the horizon as we do notice that again we have this beautiful contrast all things to our springboard center sky tracker just a beautiful scene this morning but severe weather impacting other parts of the lone star state satellite and radar showing a cluster of thunderstorms moving from oklahoma into texas in the dallas fort worth area these yellows oranges and reds indicate the strong potency of those thunderstorms in these yellow and red boxes indicating severe thunderstorms and tornado warnings in around the Dallas Fort Worth area. Here in the basin, though, we are dealing with very high thin clouds, but there's a chance of severe weather because of the above normal temperatures and the uptick in moisture, a low to medium chance of severe weather and enhanced risk in these orange colored areas, including East and West Texas, a slightly lower risk in these yellow colored areas in these green colored areas indicate a pretty low chance of severe weather closer to the Trans-Pecos. But again, these areas have that potential for heavy rain, hail, strong winds, frequent lightning, all that we're seeing right now in the Dallas Fort Worth area with power outages already being reported. Something that's also a possibility later today. And this is all after we heat up, by the way. Heat advisory for the Marfa Plateau down to the Rio Grande. That's in effect till 8 p.m. Central time for triple digit heat once again. And we'll likely even get above 100 in around Midland and Odessa. We got a ways to go, but a milder start. 71 right now in Midland. Low temperature yesterday morning, 58. This morning, high 60s, lower 70s. Even in Marfa, not too bad this morning, 63. 82 in Presidio. So we got the warmth and the uptick in moisture. That will lead to thunderstorms. And again, before them, pretty hot across the board. This model depicting 103 in Midland and Odessa, even hotter in the Rio Grande. I think will be 101 today in Midland and Odessa. Mostly clear skies, 71 officially at the airport in Midland. 47% relative humidity, a little more humid this morning with a south south easterly breeze at 8 miles per hour, supplying the heat up and the moisture. That south south easterly flow more prevalent in these blue colored shadings in eastern and southern west Texas. As temperatures rise, winds will rise, and those winds will spread out in all directions in these yellow, orange, purple colored areas where thunderstorms will likely form later today. Tracking it all for you guys throughout the day. Muggy to start off. Temperatures in the 70s, mostly sunny for most of the day. Breezy 90s by noon. Uh, high 90s, low triple digits by the afternoon. Then pretty warm again, but the chance with thunderstorms will start to lower those temperatures as splitting thunderstorms moving through the eastern and west Texas area. These yellow, green, orange, red splotches indicating again the strong potency potential of the storms. By clearing out overnight in the 70s, winds persistent from the south and east right around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Cloudy, even cooler tomorrow morning, 65 degree low temperature, winds light from the east southeast. So hot and humid today. Warm and humid tomorrow, a lower chance of severe weather, drier and warmer later this week.